The Mathematics of Roulette In Roulette, there are 37 possible outcomes. The ball can land on any number i, which is an element of the set of numbers 0 to 36. Let's call this set S, the set of all possible outcomes. Now, let A be a subset of S. A is a possible event that can occur. For example, A could be the set of elements i of S such that i is even. We can ask what is the probability of event A occurring, written as PA. In this example, PA is the probability the ball will land on an even number. Since the ball is equally likely to land on any number on the wheel, the probability of X occurring where X is an element of S, in other words the probability the ball will land on X, is just 1 over 37. Let the number of elements in A equal N, so the probability of A will just be the probability of the first element of A occurring plus the probability of the second element of A occurring all the way up to the probability of the nth element of A occurring which is simply n times 1 over 37. In this case, where A is the set of elements of S such that each element is even, n equals 19. So the probability of A occurring, the probability the ball will land on an even number, is 19 over 37. Interestingly, the number of events that can occur is the number of subsets of S, which is 2 to the power of 37, which as you can see is quite a big number. Now, suppose you place a bet. Call A the set of chosen numbers. Let R be the size of the bet, and let G determine the return of the bet. Suppose the ball lands on omega, then G omega, which tells us the return of this outcome says the player receives 36 divided by n minus 1 times r if omega is an element of a and minus r if omega is not an element of a where n is the number of squares the player has bet on. In roulette the house edge tells us the amount the player lo loses relative to any bet made on average it can be thought of as the amount you are expected to win or lose depending on your bet. Now. It is determined by the expected value formula denoted E from probability. The expected value of G, in other words, the expected value of our bet, equals the summation of the probability of W times by G of W, where W is an element of S. Suppose A is the set of elements W0, then G of W equals 35R if W equals W0 and minus R if W does not equal W0. The bet's house average is the ex expected value of G, the expected value of our bet, which is determined by the equation on the previous page. Since the probability of W for all S is 1 over 37, we can take it outside the summation sign. We can now split the summation of G of W, where W is an element of S, into the summation of g of w, where w is an element of s, such that w does not equal w0, plus g of w0, which, when you work it out, comes out to minus r over 37, which is approximately minus 0.027r. Now, let us see what would be the best possible bet to place in roulette. Let us consider the expected value of G, in other words, the expected value of an unspecified bet. The expected value of G is determined by this formula. As we've seen, the probability of W for all S is 1 over 37, so we can take it outside the summation sign. Now, set S is the same as set A, the set of our chosen numbers, plus the set of set S minus the elements of A. We can split the summation of g of w, where w is an element of s, into the summation of g of w, where w is an element of a, plus the summation of g of w, where w is an element of the set s minus a. a is our set of chosen numbers, and n is the number of squares we are bet on, so the number of elements in a equals n. g of w, where w is an element of a, will equal 36 divided by n, 
minus 1 times r. And the number of these we will summate is n, because the number of elements in A equals n. Shape w, where w is an element of the set s minus a, is minus r, and the number of these we will summate is 37 minus n. With a bit of algebra, this comes out to r times minus 1. The expected value of g is therefore minus r divided by 37. What this shows is that regardless of the type of bet placed in roulette, one is always expected to lose on average minus r over 37. So the best strategy when playing roulette is simply to not play at all.